Hey guys, I am going to be upgrading my original Game Boy. Now, if you remember a couple of years ago, I had also upgraded my Game Boy Color with a new modern LCD screen to replace the original screen in it. I did like it, it's cool and I still use it, but it had a couple of issues that I was really not happy about. Uh, the first thing is that you can't adjust the brightness. And second, I didn't want to change the lens on my original Game Boy Color because the lens was very good on my Game Boy Color and uh, the screen that they used did not fit it exactly so you could see the borders around. So I wanted to breathe life into my original Game Boy and I kept it very well for these 28 years but in recent times the LCD is starting to fail. Now it's not been burned in or anything it's just the glue that holds the ribbon cable to the screen it's drying out and it's coming off so it's not really working as it can. I want to update this Game Boy because it has a lot of sentimental value to me. It was my very first game console. I never owned an NES or Super NES at the time and I was able to only afford this. And also it survived a car accident. Back when I was in the fourth grade it was in my backpack and I was involved into a car accident. It was the first thing that actually got hit and survived. Not only did it survive the impact, it survived being drenched in water because I had a water bottle in my bag. So I want to Put, restore it as much as I can. The only damage it's got was this little scratch in the corner over here. So what I'll be doing is I'll be installing the IPS LCD upgrade screen and the USB-C charging battery pack that will replace the AA batteries. There are six tri-wing screws on the back of the Game Boy to remove. Before taking the back off, you need to disconnect the ribbon cable that connects the two halves together. Nothing has to be done with the back of the Game Boy, all work is with the LCD board. Next, remove all the Phillips screws holding the board in place. I suggest that you take out the buttons while you test fit in the new parts to make it easier to adjust the screen position. Now for the most part, this mod does not require soldering skills. Everything is pretty much screw in and plug in, but you have to remove the original Game Boy speaker and put it on the new daughter board. Also remember to clean the inner lens to make sure no dust or fingerprints get left inside. You don't have to worry about which wire goes to what terminal, they can be put on in any order. My LCD is version 5, which didn't come with double-sided tape, so I had to tape the LCD board down a different way from the wiki instructions. If you use an original Game Boy case, two modifications need to be done. Cut the two top screw posts off to allow the new LCD to fit, and one of the brackets that guide the power switch. The LCD plastic holder goes onto the remaining screw posts. Let's fit all the components one at a time, it will make it easier to understand how to place everything in later. Once everything is in place, you can screw down the new board, but you'll be omitting four screws. Also, don't forget to put back the buttons.
Next up is the cable that connects the two boards. This one will be harder to push in. You'll use more force on both sides, but don't go overboard. Rock the cable back and forth till the cable goes all the way in. The hardest part is connecting both halves back together. I went with the back on the table because I didn't want to risk scratching the screen while I fiddled with the cable. Now, with the cable being brand new, it will be harder to close the case. Don't be afraid, the cable has to be bent into its new shape. Before I put in the rechargeable battery, I want to make sure the LCD mod works first, so I use regular batteries. It's more steps, but it's better in the long run. Installing the new battery is pretty straightforward, but you first need to remove all the battery terminals with clips. You have to do it from the back side of the case. I suggest removing all three. You only really have to do the bottom two, but the top middle one made it harder to get the battery in. Once that's done, push the battery in and then place the charging board on the top two contacts. The board will spring up, but you don't really need to use the double-sided tape. The cover will keep the board in place. Also make sure the battery wires are out of the way. The USB port has to fit into the hull of the new cover, so it will cause a snap when it goes in. So yeah, I am really satisfied with this mod. The screen is much better than my original uh, GBC screen. Now the USB battery, it's uh, pretty good. It it's kind of hard to fit in. That was my really my major complaint. Now, one thing I particularly don't like about the USB chargers cover is that it has this rubber grip. This is going to be on this for many, many years and even decades that I'll be using this cover. And eventually this rubber grip is going to melt off. So I wish they didn't do that. I wish they gave us a plastic. And of course, if you look at it, the, uh, texture of the plastic doesn't match the original Game Boy. Overall, both mods give a lot of extra life to the Game Boy. My favorite thing is that we have an on-screen battery indicator, and basically the LCD mod also gives the Game Boy Color color palettes to the Game Boy screen. So technically we have like a 80% of a Game Boy Color inside the Game Boy. One thing I would like to suggest as an improvement, for it to fit centered, you need to cut out one of the plastic posts at the top of the case. The screen still fits in without doing this, but the image will be slightly lower. It'd be nice if we can get vertical controls to adjust it. The screen is 69 aspect with more area available than the native GB screen. It would give us an option to cut less of the original plastic. Very little modification to the uh, plastic itself, which was great because the Game Boy Color had to be modified a lot more in order to fit the screen in. This is pretty much plug and play minus the speaker. So thanks everyone. And if you're curious of my old Game Boy Color video, I'll leave a link below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.